Hello and welcome to the 24th tutorial in the HTML basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at the class attribute. This tutorial assumes you have done tutorial 22. If you haven't there will be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there will be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and open up the web page from tutorial 22 in a text editor. And what we're going to do, we're going to just enclose this in a div. And in here, we're going to add an attribute, which is the class attribute. And we're going to assign a name to the class. And I'm just going to call it hello. And what we're going to do is just duplicate this five times, let's say. And before we actually do anything with the class attribute, we are just going to run the web page so you can see what it looks like. Okay, there we go. We've got the hello world five times, basically five divs, right click, inspect element. There we go, five divs with the class hello, and it's colored green. So what we're going to do is we're going to affect all of these and change the actual color of it to red. And instead of, in the previous tutorial, we used IDs which were unique, instead of doing five IDs in the style tag and manually changing the color for each one or any sort of styling for each one of them we just use the class attribute and this is really good for for example if you have a website and you have a generic generic style of button and the color is the same the size is the same the only thing that changes is the actual text inside this will be fantastic because if you want to make a change to that button you just change styling for that class instead of changing the styling for maybe a hundred IDs uh, which can cause a lot of issues so to actually style it unlike um, HTML elements or tags you don't just put the tag name what you do is put dot and then you put the class name which is hello and then you put brackets and then you put the styling so we're gonna color it red save that if we go back to Chrome and refresh and there we go we've got hello world if we click on one of these classes we've got the color red that's it uh, it's that simple to add a class attribute in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at the script tag which allows you to run javascript code if you have any questions feel free to message us and all the links that you will need will be in the description and thanks for watching